Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's tropical update. So, Invest 91L has dramatically increased in uh, formation probabilities, and as of 4.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Tuesday, October the 4th, Invest 91L has a 40% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next 48 hours, and a 70% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next five days. And this is up all the way from 40% chance from this morning. We also have newly formed Tropical Depression 12 west of the Cape Verde Islands with maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 1,007 millibars, and moving northwest at 12 miles per hour. And this one is going to go out to sea and not really impact anybody. Looking at the uh, infrared satellite, of Invest 91L uh, compared to yesterday, this looks like a totally different system. We have a big uh, cluster, a big blob of convection now associated with Invest 90, 91L, and this is uh, quickly moving west towards Trinidad, Tobago, and the Southern Windward Islands at about 15 miles per hour, and um, we still have the uh, center is right about here. So the storms are still displaced to the southeast of the center, but um, this is looking a lot better organized than yesterday, and this could develop once it gets west of the Windward Islands in the next couple of days. And there is absolutely nothing stopping the system from taking off once it gets west of the Windward Islands. Um, right now, it has a little bit of wind shear to the north, but as it moves west, west, northwest over the next two to five days, it's going to be moving into an area where wind shear is going to be near zero across the entire Caribbean Sea. So once Invest 91L gets a, a couple hundred miles west of the Windward Islands, I believe that is going to uh, develop into a tropical depression and tropical storm and likely become a hurricane as it moves westward towards areas of Central America. So the, uh, the threat level, especially for Central America and even the ABC Islands and Northwest Venezuela and Northern Colombia has dramatically increased since yesterday's update. Looking at the uh, Invest 91L intensity model guidance, now all the models except for a couple are developing Invest 91L into a tropical storm in the next 48 hours, and many of the models bring it to a Category 1 hurricane in the next 72 to 96 hours, and now we are seeing the majority of the models take Invest 91L to a Category 3 hurricane in the next 96 to 120 hours. So this is a major development in just a 24 hour period, we are now looking at the potential of a major hurricane in the next four to five days, moving towards Central America. And looking at the uh, official spaghetti model guidance, in the next 24 hours, 91L is expected to move over uh, northern Trinidad and Tobago as a disorganized tropical wave, thankfully, bringing heavy rain and gusty winds to Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, and then all the way up to Dominica, maybe even up towards Guadeloupe. In the next 48 hours, 91L is expected to go just north of Venezuela through the ABC Islands in about the next 60 hours, and in the next 72 hours it is expected to go just north of Colombia, 96 hours, is expected to go into the southwestern Caribbean. And this is where I'm really worried about rapid intensification, is right about here, about 96 hours from now. And then the next 120 hours, the majority of the, majority of the models take 91L into either uh, Nicar Nicaragua or Honduras, as a major hurricane. So if you're in Nicaragua or Honduras or even Belize, 
and the Yucatan Peninsula, I'm going to be watching Invest 91 very closely for my friends in Central America and uh, Southeastern Mexico, because this could be a very impactful system, I'm afraid. Looking at the uh, European model, starting around uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon, we have the tropical wave east of the Windward Islands. And then moving into tomorrow, uh, Invest 91L will move across the Windward Islands, bringing heavy rain from about Guadalupe southward. And then the heavy rain will continue across the Windward Islands Thursday move across the ABC islands uh, through the day Thursday as well as across northern Venezuela and northern Colombia. And then by Friday, the European model is still not excited about developing 91L yet as it moves north of Colombia. And then as we go into Saturday, the GFS wants to spin up a tropical storm just east of uh, Nicaragua and then the European model starts to rapidly intensify uh, trop the tropical storm into a strong tropical storm making landfall across uh, central Nicaragua by Sunday October the 9th. Looking at the uh, GFS model, uh, the GFS model shows the disorganized wave east of the Windward Islands and we see the increase in showers and storms across the southern Windward Islands uh, late tonight through tomorrow and Thursday. And then the uh, showers move across northern Venezuela, the ABC Islands, and northern Colombia Thursday and Friday as the wave moves west. And then the GFS uh, is a little bit slower than the European which has the wave still impacting the ABC islands, northern Colombia and northwestern Venezuela as late as Saturday evening and early Sunday. And then the GFS spins up a tropical depression or storm by Monday, October the 10th and rapidly intensifies it into a hurricane moving just northeast of Honduras by Tuesday, October the 11th. So I'm going to really continue to watch the trends on the models very closely for this to see if this continues because we could be looking at very serious impacts across Central America if this continues. But meanwhile, looking at rainfall totals across the Caribbean, the latest European model is putting about uh, three to five inches from St. Vincent and the Grenadines through Grenada, through Trinidad, Tobago, and then about one to three inches of rain from Barbados through St. Lucia, through Dominica and Guadalupe. And the European model is putting about three to five inches of rain across the ABC islands from Invest 91L, across Northern Venezuela, about one to three inches and Northwestern Colombia about two to five inches and then uh, we could be seeing as much as three to six inches across Central America if it moves that way. <coughs> <coughs> now looking at the, the GFS model for uh, for rainfall accumulation, uh, the GFS is put, putting about three to five inches across the southern Windward Islands from Barbados and St. Lucia southward, and then about uh, five to seven inches across the ABC Islands and across northwestern Venezuela, about two to five inches, same across northern Colombia. And then uh, we're, we're going to have to see what happens when we get down the road towards Central America, but we could be seeing very uh, high rainfall totals if uh, 91L L decides to move into the into uh, C Central America as a major hurricane, so make sure you prepare for some uh, flooding, especially in the Southern Windward Islands, as well as especially across the ABC Islands. 
So I will continue to update you guys on Invest 91L, uh, especially as the days progress, as it is looking more and more likely that down the road, Invest 91L could become a serious hurricane for Central America. Uh, thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening, my friends.